Kella. I teach seventh grade science and I just wanted to go over how I set up my canvas modules and how I organized my instruction for this digital distance learning. So a little bit about what I've done is I am using modules. Uh, my modules are for each week. If you're teaching elementary and you teach all subjects, I would recommend you create a module for each individual subject, a math module, a reading module, a science and social studies module. This would allow students to find the work that they need. Um, and I'll show in another assignment how I would set up for each week for that. What I want you to look at here is we have our March 16th through 20th module. This is optional. This is just enrichment activities for students. I have four things I like to include in all my modules. The first is a discussion. And we're going to come right here. My check-ins or discussions. This is kind of like attendance, even though I'm not really taking attendance. This allows us to see what we have to do for the week as a student. So I start off, welcome to our science class. I'm asking that they post on our thread three separate days so I know that they've checked in. Uh, then I have their to do. If you see, these are all hyperlinked to the actual activities so students know what is expected between March 23rd and 27th. They're expected to look over their notes from previous. I've linked them a PDF of them in here. Then they have their assignments. So they have a direct instruction lesson. Then they have their stations are their independent work. And then they have another lesson and then they have a quiz. So each week I'm going to have four elements. The first element is going to be this discussion, this kind of like morning meeting check-in type of activity. This is where they're going to know their expectations. Think of this as your agenda for the week. The second thing that they're going to have is their direct instruction. This might be one or two, maybe three assignments, depending on what you teach and how you teach. But this is the direct type of instruction that they need to know for them to be able to complete their activities. I'm not going to just li link in worksheets for them to do when I haven't taught them that information. This can be things if you're teaching math connecting to Khan Academy, um, videos from Screen uh, Castify, things like that. So that's what our assignment are. The stations is their independent activity. That's the third thing I like to have. Um, both my lessons, my direct instruction, and my activities are through Nearpod, which will be in another video. Nearpod is embedded right in. I'll show you on this assignment right here. And it allows the students to go through, listen. They actually can listen to my lecture as well as have it read to them. Um, but that will be another episode. And if you, as you see, it's embedded right here. They don't have to go to another website. It's right here in Canvas. Uh, super simple. And we'll come back to that in another video. So that's the um, third thing, is their direct, uh, well, their independent work. And last, we're going to have an assessment. We always need an assessment at the end of the week, uh, checking where they are, so that's what our quiz is. So that's my expectations of my students for the week, and this is done in a module. I set my home page right here, if you click home, as the module. The module is important. Um, to be the home page. The way you set that up, if you click on settings, navigation. In navigation, you can make things disappear. I've made all these down here disappear because the students don't need to see them. You can move things around like so. So I like to have my modules and my announcements up near the top because that's what I really need students to see and where they need to work. Come back to home. Now look over here on the right side of the screen. It says choose home page. You click this. You can have an activity stream. I do not recommend the activity stream for middle school students and elementary, stu school, uh, elementary students, especially if it's like sixth grade, because it starts to look busy when there's a lot going on. 
Um, so I like course modules because it takes them right where they need to go for that week's assignments. Um, and that's how I have that set up. And then hit save. So I hope this helps you kind of see how I've organized uh, and designed my course for student ease. If all you do that I've seen some people do is just put in assignments, what it ends up looking like, I'll come over here to student view. If all you you have no modules, all you have is assignments, this is what it's going to look like. So for some of our students, and this is only a few because I have it, I don't have all of my assignments in here. Um, it's going to look very busy and very overwhelming, and they're not going to know what do I do this week, what do I do next week, what was previous that I can't even access to. That's all these that are called closed. It's just going to look overwhelming to them. Um, the modules really help narrow it down. As you can see, this is what the students see right now. Uh, they can see my discussion. This is my optional week right now because we're getting things set up. I hope this helps understand how I've organized it. Uh, my next video is going to be on how to actually make a module and add a discussion and assignments. And remember, I have my four uh, activities. I have my check-in discussion. This is the attendance, the morning meeting, your agenda for the week. Then I have my direct instruction, one or two assignments for that, maybe three, depending on what you're teaching. Then I have my independent work. You may have a direct instruction, then an independent assignment. Direct instruction, independent assignment for that week, depending on how many activities you need for the week, for your class. Uh, and then I like to always have a quiz or some type of assessment in there each week. I try to keep it the same week to week so students know what to expect. Um, consistency is key. So I hope this helps you, and if you have any questions, uh, send me a message or drop in in the comments. Thank you.